Bill O'Reilly has a meltdown with his staff because they're not giving him the right cues or whatever. So I had to sack my hairdresser. I see that. Get a bit kind of prima donna and I'll have a meltdown. I'll never forget the time that I was watching the London Marathon and I went, you know what, I could do this. The Dublin Marathon was about nine weeks later or so. It was that Sunday I was watching, so I just clicked on to the Dublin Marathon website on the phone, went and signed up. And then after, I was just like, what are you doing? I was 22 years of age at the time and I ran a 240 marathon. I was the first under 25. I think it was 56th or so out of like 15,000 people. <laughs> Not too shabby. I think it's taken me about eight years to recover from it mentally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember I was 16 years of age, so my name is Finbar. But whenever I was 16, I was relatively overweight. And I had a nickname called Fat Bar. <laughs> so <laughs> kids, are, kids are so evil, like, but uh, looking back on it, but... I asked my parents to buy me a personal training session with one of the local coaches here in Belfast, a guy called Liam Shannon. That was my first introduction to kettlebell and barbell training. He taught me the kettlebell swing, the kettlebell snatch, the barbell back squat, the barbell deadlift, and the barbell bench. Looking back on that one day, you know, where I was 16 years of age and utilizing those four core movements would bring me to the level of strength I believe is world class right now. And since that day, the kettlebell has been a massive part of my life. And I've always valued having a coach there to be accountable to. Because if you look at the best in the world at any level of sport, whether it be Usain Bolt, George St. Pierre, whether it be Mike Tyson, whether it be, you know, Lewis Hamilton, they all have coaches, they all have mentors, they all have people to fall back on. One big burning question everyone wants to know. Where do you get your shorts? They're sprayed off. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. <laughs>